YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here, and if you are watching this, then holy crap, that's annoying. Hang on, there we go. If you're watching this, and yes, maybe it is annoying, it's my anniversary with Mrs. Air, and uh, no, I'm not playing this on her anniversary. This has been pre-recorded. So I am obviously taking the night off, uh, enjoying some good family time, and uh, that's also why you're not going to see Halo 5 footage today, is because, obviously as a courtesy to Mrs. Air, that stuff's going to take a second seat to the anniversary. Um, and so yes, uh, hopefully uh, we're going to have some good time together, like I said, get some quality time to remember the awesome three years we've had together. Yes, only three years, but uh, it's been good times. Anyway, less sentimental stuff. So. Do you ever have one of those nights where you're going to play a battle on Rome 2 or any other Total War game and you just decide, you know what, um, I'm going to take either a crazy tactic that will be awesome if it works or it's going to be a complete crapshoot if it fails. And that's what I'm doing tonight. So <laughs> someone wanted me to play as Epirus. Epirus is not a very good faction. Used properly, they can be okay, but they're still not good. Um, they really lack like available mid-tier infantry they have sam knights but that's like the only thing they can go to and then it's like either complete crap with illyrian levies or really expensive with royal peltas so you get one of the two so what i decided i, I just got to thinking to myself and uh, obviously i'm not a strategic genius but this is uh, i'm like you know you go into the battles like all right lusitani what do lusitani like to do lusitani like to throw javelins so that's going to rule out elephants so i took elephants out of the picture and I say, Lusitani also like to charge. Okay, well, what's good against the charge? What's best against the charge? Well, pikes. So pikes aren't good at much. And I'm like, well, pikes, really? That's a huge risk. Well, the map has some forest on it. So let's try pikes, because they'll be harder to kill. All right, pikes. We'll take some pikes. Um, so there's probably my first stupid mistake. And then I decide, okay, what else the Lusitani not good at. Well, they're not very good at getting shot. Um, they have very little armor and crappy block chance. Okay, I'm gonna spam the crap out of cheap archers, so boom. Done. What else do Lusitani not like? Shot cavalry. <laughs> so, what I did was designed a Epirote army that brings everything that the Lusitani hate. However, Lusitani have a lot of javelins. Javelins can deal with shot cavalry. Balearic slingers can deal with archers. Balearic slingers can deal with pikemen. So, the Lusitani are not counted out. I'm just bringing things that I hope are going to give the Lusitani some problems. So I have six pikemen, three mercenary Samnites, two on one flank, one on the other. The other uh, single Samnite is supported by an Etruscan hoplite. Not my first choice, but you don't really have a whole lot of other choices as Epirus. Six of these standard Greek archers, three Thessalian cab, which are very heavy shot cavalry, and, or just heavy shot cavalry, one of the two, I can't remember. And then we've got this Hellenic royal cavalry here, which is a, I believe it's a very heavy shot cavalry. It is. The Salians heavy shot cap. My bad. So, yes, it's the Persian cavalry. I always get that confused. The Persian cavalry is very heavy shock for quite a great price. The Lusitani, on the other hand, has brought a bunch of Iberian swords, a bunch of veteran shield warriors, I, I believe just one Lusitani noble, and he's got several Balearic slingers. And the Balearic slingers, like I said, I knew were going to be a threat, but my goal is to not give them time to be a threat. So, if you look at this, my choice is obvious. I can't sit back and skirmish, the Balearics will poop on me. I can't just sit back because my pikemen will get destroyed by a hail of javelins, so idiot pike rush straight down the center. Um, it's not going to work as good as it does in Rome 1, but that's the idea. I keep my pikes up so that maybe my opponent feels like he might be able to charge me without my pikes down, so idiot pike rush in the center. Rush in troops on the flank. Rush my cavalry to the flank. I keep one Thessalian right in the center so that I can assault the enemy general, and let's see what happens. So I put my pikes down into phalanx at close to the last second. Here it comes. <laughs> and he decides he does not want a piece of that. So that was my idea, basically. And then right here, he accidentally charges into the pike. So this is just going to force my opponent back in the center. And where he does not back up, well, these pikes are derping out, so they're still getting wrecked. Um, but anywhere where the pike should be facing forward, and actually did, they're going to do rather well versus the charges. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to keep pushing the Lusitani back on the flank. I'm going to engage... All he's brought is Iberian horsemen rather than Scutari because he spent all his money on skirmishers and infantry. And this is what I want. If he's going to turn his back and run for my pikemen, this is exactly what I want. I'm going to charge forward and slam into his general with a heavy shock cavalry. Now, I don't do a perfect job here. I should have continued on into the veteran shield warriors, but still, I'm going to absolutely poop on his general, almost killing it right here in the opening phase of the battle. And the Lusitani losing their general is a bad, bad thing. 
and my archers then are free to start crapping on his Lusitani uh, veteran shield warriors who have broken through the line in several spots. And then my pikes just be annoying. They derp out and they do all kinds of stupid things, but they're keeping his infantry busy and making them turn their back and run away from me, which is helping my cavalry. Which, speaking of cavalry, his uh, Iberian swordsman here killed a few of my guys. I finally managed to get through. In fact, they killed quite a few of my men. But my general comes through relatively unscathed after crushing an Iberian horseman, and guess who's in his sights? The Lusitani nobles. That's right. If I kill that general, this battle's over. Because his Iberian cavalry is dead. He was hoping that all infantry could crush me, but again, the skirmishers are the bane of Lusitani. But he had Balearic Slingers, so he probably wasn't worried. Well, the Balearic Slingers are now under huge threat, though, because I have cavalry all over the field. The Lusitani general dies in a brutal charge. Um, from my Hellenic uh, Royal Cavalry there, so the enemy general is now dead. This is going to hurt the morale of the enemy troops quite badly, and they're not going to like it. So my mercenary Sam Knights here cutting through, getting on the flanks, getting at the Iberian swords. Pikemen doing a terrible job in general, but still just keeping some of the Lusitani uh, units busy, which is all I need them to do at the moment. And uh, otherwise, now my archers are free to win the battle for me, and my cavalry can also do the same. These Iberian cav chase my Hellenic Royal Cavalry, and then remember that they were never intended to fight cavalry, and they die. Which is what Iberian cav do best versus cavalry. Now, I love Iberian cav for the, their good looks <laughs> and their general utility in campaign, but they are quite bad in multiplayer against anything other than uh, skirmishers. And even then, watch out, you can't charge heavy skirmishers. This is the Thessalian Cav still tying down this veteran shield warrior. And I'm going to bring in another Thessalian Cav and my Royal Cavalry. And again, just the, the Lusitani cannot stand up to heavy shot cavalry charges. They are going to get crushed. And here they're Balearic Slingers and their veteran shield warriors just absolutely crapped on. And I haven't even done particularly great with any of my units, but with the death of the Lusitani General, their troops want to rout. My, my archers are just ripping apart units that are uncovered right now, and I mean, they are not great, but in a pair of, in a pack of six, they're going to cause a lot of damage. Um, so the cheap archers and big numbers can end up paying dividends. Keep in mind that the six of them cost roughly the same as, say, two Cretan archers. Roughly. Not quite. But, um, but uh, you know, just kind of in the same general category. It's like two and a half Cretan archers. So it was a victory here. The pike rush was stupid. It was blundering. I did all kinds of things wrong, and a pike rush is never good. But in this case, my opponent made a few key critical mistakes. He did not bring any spears. That's okay. You can bring Iberian swordsmen, and Iberian swordsmen can throw their javelins to kind of act like spears. He needed to bring Scutari Cav. But that would mean if he did bring the Scutari Cav, they, still, they would need spear support or Iberian sword support to win the fight against my cavalry. Now, if he brought those cavalry, they cost more. Not a whole lot more, but they cost more. And he would have been able to spend less on Balearic Slingers. He had three of them. He needed these guys to make sure I didn't get a skirmish superiority, which is why I brought them. I think he went too heavy on veteran shield warriors. Think about it. The infantry of Epirus is not very good, so you don't really need to go crazy infantry heavy. I like the Iberian swords for supporting cav, but the Iberian cav was a poor choice. Definitely trade these guys for Scutari cav. Make sure these Balearic Slingers focus where they need to focus, which is on my archers. You gotta get rid of those archers because they're gonna kill your guys. However, again, the challenge I gave him, like the one, um, this the uh, Thessalian cap here, it wrecked right through the center of this line, didn't get that many kills, only got 38 kills, but like all of those were on the Lusitani Noble General. And um, again, the pikes forced his guys to turn around and go the other way. This allowed me to shoot them in the back charge my cavalry through and really it was the general disorder that it was really what gave me what I wanted here so um, you can see that only a couple of my infantry, two of my infantry units did good because the Lusitani was so disorganized they weren't able to get a good infantry unit into them but you can see where the veteran shield warriors got a hold of my mid tier infantry you just get crapped on as Epirus you're never going to win that fight the pikes some of them got killed where they derped around but you can see the others, they didn't get any kills, but they did their job. Again, just get the enemy to, to disperse and, and to turn around. But you can see my archers were starting to rack up a, a decent number of kills for a relatively short battle. My opponent admitted defeat before the battle was over, but it was over for the most part. Anyway, there you go. Have fun when you play Rome 2. Think up fun stuff. Do crazy stuff, because why not? When in Rome 2, you only live once. Air of Carthage, signing off for now.